23. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 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 Text 23. Niyatam Sangarahitam Araga Dvesha Chakratam a fala prepsuna karma, yet that sat become uchete, niatam regulated, sangarahitam without attachment, aragadveshata without love or hatred, kritam done. Afala prepsuna by one without desire for fruitive result. Karma action. Yat which tat that sat become in the mode of goodness. Uchyate is called. So now the next topic is all about action. Please repeat. That action which is regulated and which is performed without attachment, without love or hatred, and without desire for fruitive results, is said to be in the mode of goodness. Purport. Regulated occupational duties as prescribed in the scriptures in terms of the different orders and divisions of society performed without attachment or proprietary rights and therefore without any love or hatred and performed in Krishna consciousness for the satisfaction of the Supreme without self-satisfaction or self-gratification are called actions in the mode of goodness so before we can come to the transcendental stage you cannot jump from the mode of goodness or from the mode of passion it's virtually impossible but from the mode of goodness now you have a chance to get to the transcendental platform that's why we always try to keep ourselves as devotees. We always try to keep ourselves on the platform of the mode of goodness as much as possible in everything that we do so that it's easier to come to the platform of transcendence. If I keep myself shackled by passion and ignorance, it's going to be very, very difficult to transcend. It's so hard. So whenever we are reading things in the mode of goodness, those are the things I want to make note of because this is what's going to make it easier for me. For instance, you keep yourself clean. You take bath. You rise early in the morning. All these different things that are part of the mode of goodness is going to make spiritual practice easier. But if you don't keep up this mode of goodness in all aspects of your life, you're only making it harder for yourself. We keep our workplace neat and clean. That's going to make it easier. If you have a desk and it's all cluttered, you're not going to do your work properly. But if your desk is nice, organized, like if you ever noticed Prabhupada, the pen was always there, and if the, in the morning his disciples would clean his room, and if the pen was not in the exact place, 
Why is that? He wanted his pen exactly in the right spot. Everything was super organized. So, this is all part of the mode of goodness. Cleanliness, punctuality, rising early in the morning, following a Kaddishi, all the different things that we're reading about is only there to help you come to the stage of pure Krishna consciousness quicker. Sometimes the question is asked, you Hare Krishna people preach that just by chanting you can achieve all perfection. So why are you doing deity worship? Why are you doing this? And Prabhupada answers, yes, it is true. Simply by chanting without offense, you achieve all perfection. But the problem is, the people that are coming are not in the mode of goodness. They're coming from the modes of passion and ignorance, and they have many, many bad habits. Many, many bad habits. So to correct the bad habits and bring you quickly you want to get yourself situated in the mode of goodness. Control the senses, control the mind. Even Prabhupada would say, cleanliness is next to godliness. This mode of goodness, so when we read about the mode of goodness, these are the things that we should be taking very um, notice of. Ah, this is how I'm supposed to be. Let us go to text number 24. Yat tu kame psuna karma. Sahankare navapuna. Kriyate bahulayasam. Tad rajasam mudaritam. Yat that which. Tu but. Kama ipsuna. By one, by one with desires for fruitive results. Karma, work. Sa ahankarena. With ego. Va or. Puna. Again. Kriyate is performed. Bahula ayasam. With great labor. Tut that. Rajasam, in the mode of passion, Udaritam, is said to be. But action performed with great effort, by one seeking to gratify his desires, and acted from a sense of false ego, is called action in the mode of passion. Text 25. Anubhandang shayam hingsam. Anapeksha chaparusham. Mohat arabate karma. Yatatamasam uchyate. Anubandham. Of future bondage. Shayam. Destruction. Hingsam and distress to others. Anapeksha without considering the consequences. Cha also. Parusham self sanctioned. Mohat by illusion. Arabhyate is begun. Karma work. Yat which. Tut. That tamasam in the mode of ignorance uchyate is said to be. Please repeat that action performed in illusion, in disregard of scriptural injunctions, and without concern for future bondage or for violence or distress. Cause to others is said to be in the mode of ignorance. 
So this is not the first time we have seen this phrase in disregard of scriptural injunctions at the end of chapter 16. And Krishna pointed it out. What's a demon? He doesn't know what is to be done and doesn't know what's not to be done. Both kinds of actions are there. The person who follows the scriptural injunctions knows what should be done and knows what should not be done. You know probably better than me when Vali was killed by Ram. Vali questioned Ram. Why did you do this? Why did you kill me? You're supposed to be the great Ram. You're supposed to be the great knower of religious principles. Why did you do this? And Ram let Vali go on talking. Then Ram said, well, actually, Vali, you are sinful. You were very, very antagonistic to your brother, your younger brother, Sugriva. You stole his wife. That was a great sinful activity. He banished him, right? And then Ram explained how even though he hid behind the tree or bushes, actually Ram was, that was not irreligious. Why? Because Vali was an animal. And it is justified for a king to shoot an animal while hiding. So Ram countered everything that Vali said. And he also said, my brother Bharat is sitting on the throne. Me and Lakshman are his servants. It is our duty to chastise the wicked. And you, Vali, are wicked. And Vali accepted what Ram said. He said, you're right. Because even though Vali did all these things to his brother Sugriva, actually Vali knew he shouldn't have done it. But he did it anyway. That was, and that's true for many people, human beings. They know that they're not supposed to do something, but either they can't control their senses or due to illusion, they know they shouldn't do it, but they do it anyway. So, and you all know better than me, violence or distress caused to others. We know so much about that. Let's look at the purport. One has to give account of one's actions to the state or to the agents of the Supreme Lord called the Yamadutas. Irresponsible work is destructive because it destroys the regulative principles of scriptural injunction. It is often based on violence and is distressing to other living entities. Such irresponsible work is carried out in the light of one's personal experience. This is called illusion. And all such illusory work is a product of the mode of ignorance. Everybody chant the Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. I would like... Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya What chapter are we on, boys? Boys, this is for the boys, or young men, excuse me. What is the name of the chapter? Right, very good. And what verse are we on? 26. Am I correct? Mukta Sango Nahang Badi Driti Utsaha Saman Vita Sid Yasid Yor Nivikara Karata Satvika Uchiate Mukta Sanga Liberated from all material association. Yeah, there's that famous verse, Mukta Sangha Param Vrijet, in the Bhagavatam. That famous verse that by Kirtanad Eva Krishna, simply by the Kirtan of Krishna, Mukta Sangha Param Vrijet. 
You cannot go back to the kingdom of God unless you are mukta sangha. You have to become free from all material association in order to go back to the kingdom of God. So this is important. Next word. Anaham body. Without false ego. So, uh, let's see. Rohan, give me some examples of false ego. Oh, that's a very good one. Excellent. Anything else? Common, common examples. How everyone has false ego. Shh. Rohan. This is for Rohan. This is how I keep them out of trouble. What? What else? Give me some more examples. That's the best. Everything else from that. Very good. Thank you. This is how I'll keep you out of trouble. Keep asking you questions. <laughs> Dritty. With determination. Utsaha. And great enthusiasm. So this Utsaha, that's the first item Rupa Goswami gives for the six things that guarantee success in Krishna consciousness. First one is enthusiasm. You have to be enthusiastic to chant. You have to be enthusiastic to do kirtan. Am I right? You have to be enthusiastic if you want to do it nice. Even in your cricket, do you want a player that's like, mm, or do you want somebody who's enthusiastic, right? Enthusiasm is the key, material or spiritual. You want enthusiasm. Samanvita, qualified. How does one become qualified? Uh, let's see, Govind. How do you become qualified? Govind, don't look at the book, it's not there. <laughs> look at me. How does one become qualified? Think about it, materially or spiritual. How do you become qualified? Excellent. What does the spiritual master give you? What does he give you? Kamlesh? Knowledge. Knowledge. So the key to become qualified is training. That's how you become qualified. All of you who... Kamlesh, you have a degree, right? Masters. Masters. How did you get that? You got qualified because you learned and studied. Same with you. And I know in Kundan's office, he's got all those different things. He's qualified. Same way with Nihar. How was Nihar doing the tax thing? Because he became qualified. And it shows. He did this. He did... Rupal became CPA. You get qualified by getting training especially even materially or spiritual yes you answered right contacting the spiritual master and the spiritual master gives you knowledge he doesn't give you some dust okay now you are qualified i gave you dust that's not how you become qualified no you have to be trained that's what Prabhupada's temples were all about he trained us he trained us how to worship the deity, how to cook, how to wear the dhoti, how to wear the tilak, how to preach. We learned everything from Prabhupada. He trained us how to give class, how to study, how to do sankirtan, how to do kirtan. He trained us. So that's how you become qualified, by training. Next word, siddhi, siddhi. imperfection, asidyo, asidyo, and failure. Nivikara, without change. Karta, worker. Sattvika, in the mode of goodness. Uchyate, is said to be. Please repeat. One who performs his duty without association with the modes of material nature, without false ego, with great determination and enthusiasm and without wavering in success or failure 
is said to be a worker in the mode of goodness. Purport. Now, let's see. Give the microphone to Mukund. Give the microphone to Mukund. Mukund, I want you to read the purport as if you were me. Can you do that? Sure. I want you to read the purport as if you were me. A person in Krishna consciousness is always transcendental to the material modes of nature. He has no exceptions for the result expectations. of the expectations for the result of the work entrusted to him because he's above false ego and pride. Still he is always enthusiastic till the completion of such work. He does not worry about the distress and undertaking. He is always enthusiastic. He does not care for success or failure. He is equal in both distress and happiness. Such a worker is situated in the mode of goodness. Not bad. Very good. Let's give him a nice entrust. Very good. So pride. Pride, right? Duryodhan, so prideful. Also Karna, also full of pride. Pride meaning I have so much talent, I have so much ability. But Bhagavad Gita teaches us who is the ability? Krishna. Krishna, right? In chapter 7, I am the ability in man. The person in false ego thinks, I did it. Yeah, I got, they go up for the awards. I got nobody to thank. It was all me. I did it. That's false ego and pride. Forgetting that, how did you get here? Many people were helping you along the way, your parents your teachers, your trainers, right? All of a sudden, now that you're big and famous, oh, I don't care about them. I did it on my own. The great Nirantara. <laughs> no, that's pride and false ego. The intelligent thing is, I'm here, why? Because I followed the instructions of my spiritual master. I was trained. I became qualified. And I remember... Who took care of me when I was little? My parents. Not that all oh, who cared. No. You have to recognize how you got here. Gratitude, appreciation. That's a cultured human being. And then it says here, enthusiastic till the completion. He does not worry about the distress undertaken. Kamlesh, you have spent so much money and have spent hours and hours producing all the CDs and DVDs. Did you worry about the distress undertaken? No. You were enjoying it, right? If there was a problem, somehow or other, you figured it out. When we did the Bhagavad Gita DVD, there was something that we continued. Very good. He is always enthusiastic. He does not care for success or failure. So that is how to work in the mode of goodness. Do we want to work in the mode of goodness? That's right. Very good. Text 27. Ragi karma phala prepsyur. Lubdo him sat mako shuchi. Harsha Shokan Vitak Karata Rajasa Parikir Tetaha Ragi Very much attached Karma Fala The fruit of the work Prapes you Desiring Lubdha Greedy Hinsaatmaka, always envious, Ashuchi, unclean, Harsha Shoka Anvita, subject to joy and sorrow, Karta, such a worker, Rajasa, in the mode of passion, Parikirtita, is declared. Please repeat. The worker who is attached to work. The 
the worker who is attached to work. And the fruits of work. And the fruits of work. Desiring to enjoy those fruits. Desiring to enjoy those fruits. And who is greedy. Who is greedy. Always envious. Always envious. Impure. Impure. And moved by joy and sorrow. Is said to be in the mode of passion. Again, my favorite, Duryodhan. Do you remember how he was once captured by the Pandavas and they released him? Remember that episode? Yudhishthira said, let him go. And what, what, what did Duryodhan decide? Ah, I'm going to give up my life. He decided that he was going to stay there. He told... Uh, Dushashan and he told Karna you guys go ahead go back I'm going to give up my life he was moved by joy and sorrow right but then what happened the demons came and they showed him no 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 you don't want to give up your life now we have a big plan for you when it comes time for the battle all of us Rakshashas and demons are going to enter even the body of Bhishma. And they're all going to act. And we are going to defeat the Pandavas. So Duryodhan became fired up. Yes! Let's go. So he came out of his so-called meditation samadhi. He said, yes, now I'm ready. I'm fired up. But did it turn out that way? Who won the battle? The Pandavas, yes. All right, give the microphone to you. Yeah, you. Okay. Can you read the purport like Narantara? Yeah. With the microphone by your mouth, please. Okay. Thank you. A person is too much attached to a certain kind of work or to the result because he has too much attachment for materialism or hearth and home, wife and children. Such a person has no desire for higher elevation in life. He is simply concerned with making this world as materially comfortable as possible. He is generally very greedy, and he thinks that anything attained to by him is permanent and never to be lost. Such a person is envious of others and prepared to do anything wrong for sense gratification. Therefore, such a, such a person is unclean, and he does not care whether his earning is pure or impure. He is very happy in his work he is very happy if his work is successful and very much distressed when his work is not successful. Such is the worker in the mode of passion. Yes, very nice. You did that very well. Let's encourage him. Yes, very good. I was thinking of something while you were talking. Um, okay, I can't remember. Let's go on to text 28. Ayukta prakrita stabdha Shato naishkritya kolasa Vishadi dirga shutri cha Karta tamasa uchyate Ayukta Not referring to the scriptural injunctions Prakrita Materialistic Stabdha, Stabdha. Obstinate. obstinate, shut up, deceitful, naishkritika, expert in insulting others, expert. alasa, alasa. Lazy. lazy, vishadi, morose, dirgashutri, procrastinating, cha, also, karta, worker, Tamasa, Tamasa, in the mode of ignorance, in the mode of ignorance. Uchyate, Uchyate. Is, said to be. is said to be. So give the microphone to Hiran. Lead us in the translation and purport, please. Please repeat. The worker who is always engaged, who is always engaged. in work against the injunctions, the against the injunctions. Of, the of the scripture, who is materialistic, who is materialistic. obstinate, cheating an expert in insulting others and who is lazy always morose and procrastinating is said to be a worker 
in the mode of ignorance. You know, all of you have such, I'm listening on the headphones, and all of you who spoke, you sound so good. I'm proud of my boys. Very proud of my boys. Parents, please bless your children. They are doing excellent. Can you continue? Yes, Prabhu. Purport. In the scriptural injunctions, we find what sort of work should be performed and what sort of work should not be performed. Those who do not care for those injunctions engage in work not to be done, and such persons are generally materialistic. They work according to the modes of nature, not according to the injunctions of the scripture. Such workers are not very gentle, and generally they are always cunning and expert in insulting others. Stop there for a second. So, not very gentle. We learned in chapter 5, Vidya Vinaya Sampane. The Brahmin is supposed to be gentle, not rough and gruff. A Brahmin is supposed to be gentle. Go on. They are very lazy. Even though they have some duty, they do not do it properly. And they put it aside to be done later on. You all know. What's it like trying to cram for exam the night before? <laughs> and no fun. Right. Continue. Therefore, they appear to be morose. They procrastinate anything which can be done in an hour. They drag on for years. <laughs> Go on. Such workers are situated in the mode of ignorance. Just like me, I spend all week preparing for my preaching on the weekend. Not that a couple of hours before, no. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm studying. I don't wait till Saturday morning. I do it all week long, so I'm fired up and ready to go. Everybody chant the Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Hare. Hare Ram. Hare Ram. Ram Ram. One more time. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Ram. Hare Ram. Ram Ram. Hare Hare. Okay, so where.